One week later and it's time to see how the artist's work is progressing. I've brought everyone to Rupert's studio in rural Gloucestershire. I'll be catching up with him and with Lorna and Mark individually to see how their portraits of our sitter Bill are developing and how they're tackling the challenge so far. So tell me how you got this far with it. Is this one of the, the paintings you did at the city? Yeah, it was, this, this was a charcoal. Um, yep. the, there, were, there were two of them and I actually preferred that one. I thought that was nicer on the day. But it was also, it felt really dark and very, um, quite grim. And this had a bit more of a smile to it. How do you feel the sitting went? The, there, were, there were very much two people sitting that day. There was the um, Bill Oddy persona, and then there was a much quieter, sort of troubled soul going on yeah. um, on, on that day. And I, um, I didn't want to sort of pretend that I hadn't seen that. I understand that you use a lot of collage bits with things that relate specifically to your sitter. Are you planning to do that with Bill's portrait? I've got some um, comics and cartoons and stuff from old goodish shows. And I'm going to do a grid of them along the back there with lots of little small portraits of Bill. And this will hopefully feel very sort of fluid and bigger and more dramatic yeah. as a result of it. So. It's developing beautifully. Lorna, you've got these three paintings on the green background. Um, you were trying to decide how many to do. Have you settled on three? When I, um, I started in my studio, um, I decided to go for squares and then I've done these three, but I think maybe they'd make more sense if I did four. Okay. What sort of picture do you think he wants? Um, I think he wants something that captures his frivolous side and his, his, the public face of, of Bill. But the luxury of, of doing a, a triptych or uh, any kind of series is that you don't have to settle on one particular image. You can bounce things off each other so that you can have him smiling and then you can have him looking more serious. And it's a real kind of luxury in a way of being able to convey lots of different aspects. And yeah, the quizzical look there. Yeah. Do you plan to do a lot more work on these? Yeah, I need to think about the shirt and um, bringing elements of, of that in. <laughs> I see that as a very warm, very loving face there. That's a mm. really delightful impression of him as far as I'm concerned. Bill certainly seemed to want to be portrayed in an offbeat, non-conventional way, didn't he? I think he was just a bit terrified. Uh, and I think everyone is the first time to sit for a portrait. On the day, you were very unsure of what you were going to do with this background. Any ideas now? I'm going to put some cartoon elements uh, coming out of the flower pot and, they're, and it's going to turn into ivy and, and so on. Just kind of to suggest the fact he's been sitting there for hours and hours and hours. And being a wildlife man, I think he'll appreciate some, yeah. some elements of that. Are you pleased with the painting? I'm pleased with that brush stroke there, I think, and everything else is, is, is going to be problematic. I think, ask me when it's finished. It's been two weeks since the sitting with Bill, and it's time to reveal the three portraits. We've come to Pembroke College, Cambridge University. It was while studying here that Bill first found an audience for his comic genius, and soon gave up on plans to become an English teacher. I wonder if he ever looks back. Very shortly, Bill will be seeing the three completed portraits for the first time, and he will then have to select just one which he gets to keep. But which painting will he choose? What will he think of Rupert's energetic interpretation in mixed media? How will he react to Lorna's bold series of paintings capturing the various sides of his personality? Will he be swayed by the super realistic detail of Mark's painting, depicting symbols and images familiar to its sitter? 